right, so it's day three, and we're at McDonough, Georgia, at the shack build. And yesterday we had some serious rain. And you know what? This morning we're just all gonna bear down, slop through the mud. More rain today, more rain tomorrow. But you know what? The group of people that are here have worked with uh, many times throughout the years, and we're just all gonna get to it. But check this out. All right, so yesterday we had some serious torrential downpours. Everything got good and muddy. Today there's a water truck that is here. They brought in water so this can be started to be washed. And the guys are filling it, washing it. And we're working up here on this waterfall, going all the way up to the top. It's gonna be a really, really nice set of waterfalls going all the way from the top up by the house, crashing down back and forth. Yep, the water is muddy, but with all that rain, it just got totally saturated. But you know what? We'll have that all fixed up, and it's going to be good and rinsed when they're all done. Tell you what, I've seen a lot of them, man, and this is a pretty cool one. I have never seen nobody work that fast in, what, two days? Three. Look at this. No, oh, but I thought he was just doing something there. What the fuck is this? Uh, I, hey, you want to uh, show him your little surprise? Where's Joe at? Hey, Joe! Hey, Joe. Joe. Oh, Joe the lights did. back on. So, Joe! Joe, Joe yeah. man, you created What's up, big Joe? How you doing? Hey, man. So, he created something pretty special for you in Canada. Shipped it to Chicago. We drove it all the way down here. And now it's for you. Oh, you got the super <laughs> <laughs> That was all Joey's idea. <laughs> no one in the world has one of those. 
You did all this, man? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Nick's been working hard. I got a present for you in the house, Nick. Come on in the house. There you go, Nick. Liar! <laughs> he did, he got rid of her. Too. Yeah. too needy, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so today we're just finishing up these final touches on the pond. You see we have the patio. We're about to finish. Gotta get some more gravel and stone in here. Do that. Really just finishing up the final touches. So this is the final day wrap up, hosing everything down, cleaning up. We've had so much rain while we were working on this project. And of course the day, the following day after it's finished, it is beautiful out today. The pond's gonna be a little bit dirty, but they're gonna pump it and wash it down and fill it back up. But it is running and absolutely beautiful. This bridge, Bernie from California, he built this especially for this project. He does an awesome job. It's all tubular steel with Trex decking on top. This waterfall, what I like about this is it looks so realistic because it's kind of more of a like bouldery type of falls where you know the rock has like shifted down in, maybe slid some, and the water's just cresting around it. And the next one up on top is what we call a sheet falls. And you know, you see that in nature a lot also because something that might have sheared off and it's like just sheeting right off of there because of pure volume of water. Then the next one up is kind of like a combination of a boulder sheet waterfall, but it's got that side kicker. And uh, you know, placing rocks as nature intended is one of the biggest things you could possibly do. And look at the texture of these rocks. Just everything is so realistic on these falls. When you have a team banded together with all the artists of the year, this is the kind of product you can expect. One of the things I love about larger ponds is instead of having just a skimmer box, you build these skim coves where all the debris, you can get a fairly decent amount of debris that would kind of come back in here and not plug up your pumps or starve your pumps for water. And it's such a more realistic look. Look at all the detail over here. It's so realistic when we add moss in different textures to these um, ecosystem ponds. Well, what an absolute blast. Everybody coming together, working hard. Uh, what's awesome is that these are all Aquascape Artists of the Year. These were all guys that uh, knew what they were doing and uh, we had a lot of fun. We busted on each other a lot, but we had every challenge that we possibly could to overcome and we did it. Uh, Shaq came out and said, that, hey, we, uh, I've never seen guys work harder in three days than you guys and uh, the results speak for themselves out here. I'm extremely proud that uh, Shaquille O'Neal is gonna be living the Aquascape lifestyle and uh, just super impressed again, once again, with the Aquascape Artist of the Year. 
years. And this is not going to be our last project. I can tell you that right now. There's going to be more that come from just this one because it was a blast working with everybody. This is uh, a labor of love for all of us. We take a lot of pride in, in what we do, which is why we're draining the water one more time to get all that red clay out of there. Uh, it's truly, uh, it's truly an impressive thing that we can come together from all different areas of the, you know, North America and build something like this and uh, pull off a result like this in a couple days. It's a testament to the certified aquasive contractors and the men who are part of it. I love my job. All right, Brian, we wrap this thing up. You know, I know there's a ton of different things that you liked about this project, but just sum it up in a nutshell for me. Um, yeah, like you said, there's a thousand things that. I like the beach, the, the fire pit, the intake bay, the waterfalls, Bernie's Bridge, right? Um, but my favorite part of the entire project was working with all you guys. Uh, it's going to be memorable, not just because of who we built it for, not because we went to Atlanta, but because of the adversity that we faced around every corner and the way we all came together to build what's probably one of my favorite water features of all time. I mean, it is epic. And so when I think you put not just the talent that was here, I mean, there's talent around every corner but there's not the work ethic and camaraderie that the um, past artists of the year have together. And all of us came together on some of the worst circumstances possible, and we created this in a very, very short amount of time. So by far, my favorite part was working with you guys. Uh, I look forward to doing it over and 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 over again. So my favorite part about this thing was is that the camaraderie I always like hanging out with you guys you know what I think this is this does top but was a close one was the extreme build the extreme build was close yeah it was probably the first time the two of us really worked together and yeah. and it was uh, close to 11 o'clock at night I think maybe even past 11 and I just remember you slinging rocks and I was just you slinging them I'll find a place for them right <laughs> and so that, that's what this was just uh, times 10 right yeah, exactly <laughs> awesome all right well it's always a great pleasure working with all the artists of the year and of course uh, Team Aquascape and Greg Woodstock. All right, Nick, so did we have a great week or what? Yep. It was really fun? Yeah. What was the most exciting part for you? Meeting Chef. Oh, I bet, right? You got that sneaker and you got a signature. But you know, this project was really fun and came out beautiful. So did you learn a lot while you were here? Definitely. Right, so even though he might have not been at school, you still learned a really lot of yeah. different things. Worked with a lot of different people too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, like we said before, we want to thank um, Greg Whitstock and who? Shaq. All right. So Greg Whitstock and Shaq. And uh, hope you all enjoy our video.